maybe a word you've heard before. And if you have low back pain, you've definitely heard of this word because sciatica is the result of chronic low back pain very frequently. Hi, my name is Dr. Zach Shaw and I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And I wanna to talk to you about sciatica today because millions of people in America deal with this annoying condition called sciatica. So what is sciatica? Sciatica is pain that stems from the low back. And if this pain can go into the buttocks, it can go into down to the knee or even down to the foot. This pain can feel like a sharp sensation, a burning sensation. Uh, it can cause numbness and tingling all the way down to the foot. It can even cause sensory issues. So if I took something and rubbed someone's thigh who had sciatica and it was affecting that thigh, that person wouldn't be able to feel me touching their skin. The sciatic nerve, which is where sciatica comes from, is the largest nerve in our body. It's so large it has its own arterial supply, it has its own blood supply. And we can see with this diagram, the sciatic nerve starts all the way up at the fourth lumbar vertebra. It has multiple branches that come through what's called the sacral plexus and eventually turns into the sciatic nerve, which goes all the way down to your toes. The sciatic nerve supplies your hamstrings. It supplies every single muscle in the foot and in the leg. And it also supplies the skin to the leg. All because we have this big nerve coming down called the sciatic nerve. Okay? So, what causes this sciatica? What causes pressure on this sciatic nerve? Well, we've got two things. Number one is we've got the piriformis muscle right here. The sciatic nerve comes right under or right over or sometimes even through that piriformis muscle. So if we have a really tight or inflamed piriformis, a lot of times it puts pressure on that sciatic nerve and we get sciatica sensations. Another thing that can happen is structurally, when your spine starts to have what's called a scoliosis or an abnormal curve in it, putting pressure on these little nerve roots in here, it can also cause sciatica. So people say, Dr. Shaw, how can you help with sciatica? How can you help with the low back or all the way down to the leg when all you do is adjust the top bone in the neck? Actually, it's very simple because by adjusting the top bone in the neck, we're getting to the cause of that sciatica. Actually, a tight piriformis or an inflamed piriformis abnormal curvature in the lumbars is all due to the top of the neck. Now, how does this work? So, the top of the neck is like your body's balance center. When the top bone in your neck misaligns, it takes the brain with it. The brain always has to be leveled due to something called the riding reflex. It always forces the brain to be leveled. However, when this top bone in the neck misaligns from some type of trauma, Maybe it's a micro trauma from sitting at a desk all day or standing in a construction site all day. Maybe it's a car accident, a sports injury, a slip and fall. Whatever it is to throw this bone out of alignment causes the head to tilt, brain's off center, riding reflex kicks in, and since the body can't remove this misalignment itself, we start to compensate to level the head. What this looks like is we drop a shoulder, we raise a hip, we see a short leg, we see a high hip, and what happens is, is as this misalignment is chronic, as it stays for quite some time, the rest of the body, as it compensates, these compensations turn into weak spots. These weak spots are what look like the compensation in the lumbars, putting pressure on that sciatic nerve. It causes the hips to be off kilter, causing a tight piriformis or an inflamed piriformis. So this is exactly why sciatica happens and why when we see patients with low back pain and sciatica, we get them the relief they need by addressing the cause, not the effects. So if this sounds interesting to you, if you wanna to get to the cause of your sciatica, please give our office a call as soon as you can. The number is 704-588-5560. We will be happy to do a free consultation to see if maybe you have an upper cervical problem that could be causing your sciatica and whatever other condition you may be experiencing. If you're not in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, give our office a call anyway and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor 
as close to you as possible. I hope you learned something today, and I hope you have an awesome day.